On my channel, I have covered many fires and a few nightclub disasters. However, if I have any views from Bolton in the United Kingdom, there is only one nightclub disaster that springs to mind and still continues to be infamous to this day. That is the Top Story nightclub fire of 1961. Top Story nightclub was on the top floor of a historic mill warehouse building on Crown Street in Bolton. The mill, previously abandoned, was bought by Mr Stanley Wilcock and reopened in December 1960. He rented the building for his business, a construction company, which built kitchen furnishings on the ground floor, but the top two floors were left empty, until he had an idea. His idea was to open a nightclub, which he did in March 1961. With a little space in the middle of the floor, a few tables and chairs were set down to the sides of the wall. There was only one wooden staircase which was the entry and exit to the club. Wilcox soon after opening the club sold it to two Manchester businessmen, Dennis Wilson and Richard Sorensen, who were quickly informed they must vacate the premises from the 24th of June by the owner of the building as the upper floors were a safety hazard. The date they were told the club had to close was the 1st of May 1961. Although this was crushing for the new owners, nothing could prepare them for what was to come later that night. It was 10.35pm when the owner of the building told the two businessmen about the club's demise, so they decided to keep it open for the rest of the night and join the customers on the top floor. The club was quiet on the night of the fire because it was a Monday. In the club, there were about 20 to 25 people. Bill Bohannon, the manager, smelled smoke at around 11pm less than half an hour after the owner's arrival. Bill went down to the ground floor to investigate and found the furniture store to be on fire. The fire prevented him from going back upstairs and he managed to escape. Others were not so lucky. He called up for the doorman to ring the fire brigade, which he did, and they arrived within three minutes, but it was already too late. The fire spread up the single stairway, which meant the people on the top floor were unable to escape. When the clubbers realized they were in danger, some began to jump from the top windows. The building was eight stories up, with nothing but concrete to meet them at the bottom. Because of the strength of the fire, the fire brigade were unable to enter the building, and they were unable to approach the back window with a ladder due to a nearby river. It took them two and a half hours to get the fire under control. By this point, 14 people had perished, 11 men and three women. Most of them died from smoke inhalation, others from the jump. Those included in the deaths were Bill's wife, the two businessmen, and the owner of the building. The firefighters described the scene as being horrific. In the inquest, Stanley Wilcock gave evidence about a door that could have prevented the deaths. There was a door behind the bar that dropped into the floors below. However, the installation of an artificial dance floor in the club prevented it from opening. If this was known about, the clubbers would have escaped. Obviously, in their panic, they did not even think about this. The highly combustible chemicals and paints employed in the furniture workshop were found to be the cause of the fire's severity. Despite a police and fire investigation, no exact cause for the fire could ever be determined, and the coroner issued an open verdict. There was a public outcry after the fire, and questions were posed in Parliament. The result led to improved safety measures, such as a required need for the fire brigade to inspect clubs and provide owners with adequate equipment to stop fires. From 1964, all clubs had to be inspected to make sure they were safe, although this has since been withdrawn. The fire brigade, however, are still allowed to shut down any club they don't see fit for purpose. Today, where Top Story used to be, is now just a car park. Thanks for watching. Just a reminder, if you did make it this far into the video, please like, comment and subscribe, it really does help out the channel. Um, I try and upload every Thursday and you can send me stories to the email that is shown on the screen. Cheers.